there in this room we discussed about installation of uh, prerequisite for Exchange Server 2010 in Windows Server 2008 or 2 or Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 2. So we need preparation, we need to do a couple of preparation before we install Exchange Server 2010. And Installing prerequisite is one of those. We already know what are the important things we need to install. Uh, .NET framework should should install. PowerShell version two should install. MMC 3.0 should install. Install, and either you go one by one and do installation like this. For example, if you if you once to store or main remote management then you can go to features and you can install by searching here uh, and since uh, MMS uh, the the not .NET framework is already there MMC is already there as we did not don't need to do anything uh, especially and in PowerShell is also uh, store uh, by default in server 2008 r2 as we don't need to do enough work and just needs to search out IIS and remote management but especially in 2008 if you are if you're uh, upgrading exchange server in 2008 r2 then you have to go one by one and you have to store like that or like IIS we have just goes to uh, rows and IIS. So this is what we can. This is what exactly uh, we have to install thing. But there is another small method and very uh, clean methods there and good methods there. We just use a script and with that script, whatever uh, requirements we need to install, it will install with that script. Let me show that script. Uh, I extracted Exchange Server 2010 setup in this X file, and you will get one uh, folder there, one directory is there, and that is called scripts. In the scripts, you will find a, a couple of uh, XML files. Dot XML file, which is based on script. Now, for example, we want to install exchange all kind of exchange then you will find exchange have an all if you want to install exchange base server then you can uh, exchange have a base hub there is a script is there for edge there is a script there mailbox exchange hyphen mail mbx or if you are wants to uh, promote exchange typical then there is a option there exchange hyphen typical just to edit and you will find out lots of uh and it is it's a script prepared whatever requirements there you will find uh in the script that these requirements are there and these uh will install whenever requires uh for you to promote or to to prepare up or promote exchange server 2002 have to prepare for prerequisite, you find the web is authentication, web windows authentication, web metabase, web net, uh, and all that. Regarding uh, this is what for the web server and the client access server. So whatever the requirements is already there, and we just need to run the script. How to run the script? That is the question. So let me show and. Uh, First, we need to go to e directory or wherever you extracted your same server in wherever drive, wherever drive you are do, did that, and then the directory we extracted. So cdx, and then in the directory you find scripts. So cd scripts, and then command. So the command is dir. First, let me show uh, about the uh, files which is present in the extension. Uh, in the directory, so now I'm just clearing uh, my screen, and the command is now server manager. 
cmd space hyphen ip space exchange hyphen typical so whatever script you want to use just just did that i just just wrote that exchange hyphen typical dot xml so this is the script one i want to run as soon as i hit enter so this is server manager cmd hyphen ip space exchange hyphen typical dot xml hit enter and installation starting you can see that uh, okay so we just uh, skip that thing and the uh, installation was started and then installation done you can find out these uh, in yellow letter uh, that these were installed in the web server IS, all things installed now, including whatever the dependency net framework require what. Now we just need to shut down. So I'm pausing my video. As soon as shutdown is done, we will be back. Okay, so we did restore our system we're back now currently preparing our desktop Let me go to server manager and check and uh, whether these rows were stall or not. So a rows. Okay, web server is installed, so we don't need to install uh, by going manually, by going graphically, it's a server is installed. And uh, goes to features, and you can see that. Uh, many more things are now installed the dependency of whatever the features were required whatever the rows was required uh, it is told so that was the key thing uh, we're going to we just did one part we uh, run a script and in the script uh, whatever the prerequisites were required we just installed now one thing is re was required and another thing and and that was the filter pack 64 bit now this is the office 2007 2010 uh, i filters uh, related setup and uh, this will uh, be available even if you do uh, install office 2010 or 2010 2007 and 2010 so if these if you if you install office pack then also that thing will be available otherwise the setup is uh, also available in the web side of microsoft now one more thing we need to did and that is services.msc goes to services and we have to put tcp port sharing uh, into automatic mode before it will be available in a manual mode 
you have to set it in your auto mode so services dmsc and here we go you will find net tcp port sharing services and currently it's set up as manual we have to change it to automatic unless you will not change it to, to automatic uh, Excel server will not install and give error now either you do graphically or there is a command to set that uh, net TCP port sharing into auto mode so there is a command called sc space config space net dot tcp no net tcp port sharing space dot equal to space auto so this is the command sc space config space net tcp port sharing space dot equal space auto now let me check I'm going to services dot msc you find that the startup time is now changed to automatic so this is what uh, how we need to prepare uh, this is how we need to work out on prerequisite of Exchange Server 2010